What if the nuclear missiles start flying, which could happen any day with Russia? Well, the number one most important thing you have to do is make sure that you're going to go to heaven, no matter anything else. Of course, if surviving radiation and all that, that's secondary stuff. In that instant, they're shooting nuclear missiles. What do you do? Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, because if you die, you are instantly going to leave this earth and you're instantly going to be given the word from Jesus. Enter into your rest, my good and faithful servant, or depart from me, I never knew you. And you go to hell, which you have your arraignment. When you die, you have an arraignment before the Lord, an initial judgment. Either your name's written in the Lamb's Book of Life and you go to heaven, or it's not and you go to hell. That's it. If you are not a Christian, and you are an atheist today or whatever you are, I advise you, if they give, you know, the, the alarms go off and they say inbound nuclear missiles to where you live at, it's time to decide, hey, am I ready? This is it. Today I'm rolling the dice. I'm going to gamble that there is no God. I'm going to gamble there is no God. Or I'm going to, hey, if God's real, I want to know him. You know, this is it. You know, there's no tomorrow. So that's a big mistake that lots of young people make. Remember when you were a kid and you think, well, when you're like eight years old, you say, wow, you know, 18, I'll be 18 and I can do what I want. That's a long time from now. You know, I got 10 more years and it seems like forever till you're grown. You want to be grown so bad. And then, you know, to live to be old, like you look at your grandparents and say, well, you know, 70 years old, wow, that's so old. You think you got all that time to make a decision. See, but if there's a nuclear war, you don't have all that time to make a decision. Or if the rapture happens, you know you got about seven years. And not even that. Before the end of the seven years, the Antichrist is going to be the one making you make a choice. See, that's the punishment even for people to get saved after the rapture. The result, the judgment of missing the blessed hope. See, there's a special reward for those who are looking for his appearance, the Bible says. Those who are looking for his appearance, those who are patiently keeping his word, Revelation 3.10. Book of Romans, it says those who are looking for him, he will give a reward to those who are looking for him, waiting for him. So that's a reward, the rapture, for those with the oil in their lamps, the five wise virgins. But those left behind, then the Antichrist is going to be the one that's going to tell you, take my marker, I'm going to chop off your head with a guillotine. That's what's going to happen. That's what the Bible says. But if there's a nuclear war, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. There's a nuclear missile coming to your city. You've got 10 minutes to make a decision. Am I going to bet against God? Or am I going to say, Lord, if you're real, show yourself to me. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. If you're real, Lord, I, I want to believe in you, Lord. Help me, Lord. God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. So if the nuclear missiles start flying, it's time to bow the knee. It's time to humble yourself and say, I don't, this is the end of the road. This is the end of the line. Nothing is ahead of me but darkness. I don't know. You know, if you really don't know, you either cease to exist or there's a heaven or a hell. That's, I mean, that's it. But I tell you, there is eternal life. And the question is, where are you going? Where are you going? Are you going to go to heaven or hell? If you ain't been washed in the blood of Jesus, you don't have on a white robe of righteousness. That comes from being born again. But God's able to do anything He wants to do. Hallelujah. We always have to be open to that too. But things cannot keep going the way they are. That's for sure. We can be living in a godless hellhole of a world. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. 
because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy way. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and Adam, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon.